Greetings, and welcome back to Frostpunk. I'm Catherine of Sky, and um, we're going to play a new scenario today. Huge, huge thank you to the developers for giving me access to the last autumn DLC. I apologize for getting you guys the video so late. I've been in a lot of pain recently, so the devs were super cool and gave me the key right on time, right when it came out. Uh, but I haven't been able to play it just because I haven't been feeling well at all. Um, but anyway, I'm really excited to get started on this. Um, so I haven't watched anything about this I haven't seen anybody play this I wanted to just experience it for myself I really loved the original game when it came out Frostpunk is pretty awesome um, and I was super super excited to see the last autumn because it sounds it sounds more less snowy maybe <laughs> anyway the game seems to have forgotten that I have completed these scenarios or at least some of them um, but it's been a new Windows reinstall, different computer since I played it last time. So I'm really excited to play this. So let's just get going on this. All right, this is an advanced scenario. Yes, I know, I know game, it's fine. All right, here we go. We're gonna play on non-survivor mode. That is hard mode. Uh, the devs suggested to people to play on the easier mode. So I'm gonna do that. Um, yeah, and I'm really kind of thrilled about it. I I really want to just experience this and see what there is new in the game and, and how things have gone. Because this game has grown so much since it came out in early access. It's been really great. So, oh, cutscene maybe? Personal Hello. journal of Euphemia McLaughlin. Assistant engineer at Imperial Exploration Company. It's been five weeks since we have left the familiar walls of Birmingham behind. Weeks of uncertainty, of struggle, of hope. And finally... Wow. We have reached the shores. We had three deaths so far. Or... Small price for progress, as I.E. Seed called it. Wow. I can only hope I am going to avoid their fate. They've claimed there was nothing to fear. That this whole journey of ours was just a precaution. Right. But now, it feels like the weather is changing. And the winter, the winter, seems inevitable. The last autumn. We cross the rough northern seas to reach Site 113, where we are to build the greatest marvel of, an, of technology, a generator. Your clue... Oh my goodness, the words today. Your crew, lured by the promise of a steady job and eager to leave the work riots and bread queues behind, are somewhat taken aback at the sight of the desolate landscape surrounding the site. They were not told not to ask for details, and there's no turning back now. There's no consensus why this contract has such a high priority, considering the deteriorating situation of the Empire. But your superiors are clear. This is the most important job of your life. For queen and country. Let's go. Wow. It is very green. Holy fuzzy cats. My goodness. Whew. That's a different sight than we're used to. Man, we're used to all the snow. We have actual trees. Basic facilities. Before you start building the generator, you have to set up the basic supply infrastructure. This means building the docks and gathering the resources piling up by them. You'll also need a raw food source, the fishing harbor, or a forager's camp set up by a food source somewhere on the plains. Interesting. So they're giving us kind of indications of what we need to do. Before, we had hunters on site and greenhouses and things where we could grow food. But it looks like that's not the case now. Um, we have discontent. I don't remember what that bar was in the old version or the other, well, the winter version. Um, but motivation used to be hope, I believe. So that's a bit different. Let's look at our landscape here. We have kind of, we're in this bowl shaped area like the other 
uh, scenarios. Oh, there's like a little, is this a little waterfall here? Almost. Looks like a trickling stream. Maybe it's just snow. Yeah, it's just snow nestled in there. Um, kind of reminds me of the frozen waterfalls I saw in Norway. It's great. Um, and we have water. Wow, there's actually water here. Wow, we have a shipwreck. Ha! Huh. We, ha we can maybe salvage this later. A thousand steel. That's quite a lot. Goodness. Um, so we have these, this harbor area, which looks really cool. We have trees around us as well. We also have 90 people who are homeless. That's our population, but we need to build every one of them homes. So let's see what we have down here in the center. Okay, so this is... There we have our people. We have some steel. 52 steel. We have wood. 145 wood there. 145 there. 52 there. We have our stockpiles. Okay, so those are like warehouses where we keep our stuff. And then steam cores. I'm going to assign a couple people to the steam cores. I don't think we need that many people there. But I just want to have a few coming in. Uh, for wood, max. Absolutely max. And I think we need some steel. So let's get some of those. So 28 people left. I think we'll leave this one for a while because I want people to start building stuff. Okay, so what shall we build? I think we need to start building... Well, let's see what we have. We have tents. Okay. Medical post. We have the cookhouse, but no sources of food. They told us we need to build fishing docks, but we might need to research that. Um, no hunter's huts for sure, which is unusual. Resources. We have resource depot and then the gathering post. That would be... A nice thing here, but how much does that cost? That's 15 wood, 5 steel. I think I'd rather spend that on housing because we need 9 tents. We have a workshop though. That might be worth it just to get some research going. I think it's worth to build a workshop. Okay, let's let's rotate this. It's middle mouse click, by the way. Let's see. We, we don't want to destroy stuff, but we can put it here. And we'll have our housing over here, I think. Okay, so we can build... We do need to build a street leading up to this before people will even use this thing. So let's use that uh, and build this. And it is connected on that corner. So I think let's just build a tent next to it. And that'll be the first of our tents. And we have four wood left. We can go ahead and build another part of the street going this way. There we go four wood sure just take it all right so people hopefully are going to disperse and do some stuff we see people gathering stuff that's great i'm not sure why they are all glowing are those lanterns or are they like glowy pendants or something they do look festive i have to admit they look great maybe they're just so they will see them but i'm like hey guys it's daytime no need for the reflectives right now <laughs> oh boy oh we have the road finished here that's nice excellent they're just building stuff just stopping on the doorsteps here okay 12 more wood excellent let's build another tent just really want to get these tents up as fast as possible okay so uh caladorn has been playing Frostpunk recently uh including some of the really difficult scenarios and I've been inspired by him because he's a master of strategy. I didn't watch him play this level, um, but he has done and he's really good. So if you're looking for like min-maxing to the core, you should definitely check out his series. Okay, we have an issue going on here. First steps. Sir, our employer, the Imperial Exploration Company, has prepared the site for us. Besides digging the enormous shaft for the underground part of the generator, they left some construction materials behind to get us started. We should set up camp and clear the area around the shaft to make space for the construction facilities. I see. Excellent. So there are gathering stuff. That's great. Uh, I wonder how deep that goes. I wonder if it's a geothermal thing or if it's just they need the underground bits for something else. I'm not quite sure. Uh, okay. So we do have enough. There's. I wish there was like a middle zoom between this level and this level. <laughs> oh well it's okay it's um we'll get used to it it's been a while since i've played this game but uh it's it's really a cool game i've been i've really kind of had fond memories of it that's for darn sure okay let's make um actually let's make a second start with a second row because i know that there are buildings that affect houses around them so uh we'll try to build some things so we can have a building in the middle kind of deal 
70 people. That's good. Wait, this one doesn't have a road yet? Okay, looks like we might be just missing. Oh, yeah. Tiny, tiny bit. One wood. All right, let's go to there to make full use of our one piece of wood. <laughs> All right, looking good. Looking very good. Okay, so we have unemployed people. Oh, our workshop is ready. Okay, so let's put maximum of five engineers in here. And we're going to start our research. Let's see. So generator construction, new tab, uh, profiles manufacturer allows us to build a profiles manufacturer and produce structural profiles required to build the generator. So it looks like we're gonna have to manufacture these things. Um, that sounds pretty good, but they advise us to go with docks first. Let's look at food foragers quarters. All right. Uh, allows us to build a foragers quarters and form a team of foragers. Uh, allows us to send them who search the wilderness for supplies and set up foragers camps delivering raw food to the camp. Uh, here's the fishing harbor. Hmm. Forager carts, more foragers, additional foragers, boosted forager carts. I don't know. I'm tempted to go for fishing, but we would need drawing boards to get that. But we need 50 wood to get that. Um, it might be worth it just to do this one. It's 10 wood to get that started. Resource wise, we can have docks. Let's see. Yeah, unload resources from ships. I don't know if we can get food from the docks or what we get from the docks, actually. Let's see. Uh, it costs 25 wood to make a basic docks. That's fine. Faster gathering. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to need this later, but we'll try. Uh, we'll see what we need. Let's see. Sawmill. That sounds pretty good. Allows us to build small sawmills, which turns frozen trees into usable material. Production up to 80 wood per standard workday. That sounds really tasty. Um, I'm thinking, I'm really thinking docks, but I'm also thinking food. Uh, let's get the docks real quick. I think we need the docks because we do have a limited, you know what? We have a limited supply of wood. So let's get a sawmill first. I want a sawmill. I'm going to go with this first. And then we'll unpause. I just want to take the game slow speed for now. Just going to watch our people working and just min max this tree value. Definitely do this. So that cost us 10 wood to build that. So we're just going to wait on getting some more before we can build another tent. There we go. Build a tent. Thank you. Right there. I think we'll put the other road around the back side. So that provides more roads to things out here. What if I should have done that for this road? Because I, I don't know. We can build things, certain things here. But I don't know how much road we'll need on the inside of this area. Oh, well, it's okay. We'll, we will learn for next time. Let's build here. And from here to there. That's three wood to there. Okay, we'll just take it. Sure. Don't want to waste a single particle there of wood. Very nice. Yeah, because we want to get our people sheltered before nightfall. Uh, that's going to be kind of not ideal if people have to spend the night in the cold. There we go. Another one. We're out of wood. Where? Here? No. There's still wood here. 114 there. I'm not sure why they said we're out of wood. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, we have 60 people homeless. Good thing is motivation is kind of middle of the road at the moment. And discontent is fairly low uh, with the lack of shelter thing going on. Okay, we can build another tent. I'm wondering, let's have one here. I need to build another road for this. But it should be fine. Oh, okay, we need two wood. Oh, there's our two wood. Let's get three wood, just in case. There's four. Okay. Okay, there's two. Good. There's two wood as well. That's excellent. I'm thinking we need a building maybe in the middle for one of those structures that kind of covers everything. 
I'm not quite sure. I know there were vaguely circular patterns. So we'll see where the next house fits. Maybe up here, possibly. I don't... The one thing that I don't know is like how... How much temperature is going to play a role in the game? This in the autumn here. Uh, because we do have a temperature gauge. That's very, very primarily in the middle of the UI. Okay, folks, keep on gathering. Hello. We need more wood. Please, please. Thank you. Do we need a road here? They seem to be like taking their time getting there. That's for sure. Oh, what's this? Camp life idle hands. As the first workday ends, people start gathering in small groups to chat or play cards. A group, a couple of workers are throwing rocks down the huge central shaft. Deep, ain't it? And to think we have to work down there. Out of boredom or maybe to exercise their fears, more workers join in. Soon rocks start raining down in the hole. This might be dangerous, but the camp offers very little other entertainment. I'm going to stop them. Um, so discontent will rise slightly. I don't want them filling up the hole, and I don't want, if there are people down in the hole, I don't want them to get, um, damaged. So stop them. That's not okay. We'll try to find a better form of entertainment for these people. Okay. Keep on going, folks. Keep building stuff. I need more wood. Oh, we're in free time. That's why. Oh, no. So 40 people are going to go homeless. That's not ideal at all. No. They'll be at nighttime. It's the cold. All right. So let's let's go fast, fast game speed. Okay. Uh, so 30 people are going to be out in the cold. That's unfortunate. Darn it. All right. Hopefully workday will start soon and we'll get some more wood. Hey. One of the homeless people fell ill. That's not ideal. People got a cold. Sir, a few of our people got a cold from sleeping on the ground. We should provide them with some kind of accommodation, if only because this might impact our efficiency in the long run. I'm going to provide shelter for everyone. We have two days. I think we can do this in two days. Um, but we also need to build a medical post. That's kind of important. But we don't have the wood right now. Okay. Let's keep on going into work time. Free time is almost... Oh, wait. Construction site. Hello. Ah, here we go. The area around the generator shaft is the construction site. With few exceptions, only buildings from the generator tab can be placed here. We haven't seen the generator tab. Wait, did we already read this? We probably already did. And it's just not... Sorry. Never mind. I, I could have sworn we already read that. Anyway, it's fine. It's fine. Um... Yeah, I had to restart the intro to this scenario, and I think I read it before, so I'm like, hmm, how many times have I read this now? <laughs> I had to explain that, otherwise it sounds like I'm a real derp. Uh, so here we have 16 wood. Let's go ahead and build ourselves a medical post. Let's see. Can we build this? Not yet. 25. Oh, 25 wood. Well then. That's a lot. We don't need shelter right now, I think. Um, we We need to build 30 houses, so... Let's see have we finished oh there we are there's our sawmill finished build a sawmill near frozen trees to start cutting them down for wood i need i think we need to build this let's build this fast real quick sawmill hello oh look at all these tasty trees all right let's spin the world around just a teeny tiny bit here i want to get all of these trees i wonder if i should build it over here so as not to waste trees we could actually let's build it here then and we can tear it down and build closer and closer, I think. Yeah, let's do this. Excellent. So there's going to be people building this. Perfect. What other research can we do now? Okay, we can have faster gathering. Let's go for the... Should we get for the docks or the food? I think we should go food. Let's go foragers quarters. And then just build that. Okay, so we can't build any houses yet. But it's okay. We'll get there. We also need to build a medical post, too. Okay. This is nice, though, because we're getting wood faster. We decided we needed how much again for the medical post? Oh, yeah. 25. That's what I thought. I think it's more important to build a medical post first. 
Okay, that's good. So let's slow the time down a tiny bit. We can place this. Let's just put it here, I guess. Don't want to destroy those resources. Okay, click the road. There we go. Perfect. All right. So there is this coming into building, into existence. Okay, and we have a lot of... Oh, a lot of wood. A lot of wood. Okay, nice. Let's build a couple of houses here. Oh, this is fantastic. We're going to be able to house everybody. Perfect. Yay. We're out of wood. Oh, that must mean when we just reached zero, it's like telling us. It's like, hey, guess what? <laughs> How much wood do we have here left? We have 69 and more 69 uh, wood. And then we have 24 steel left. Okay, forages, quarters, researched. Hooray. All right, let's go ahead and ha add people to... Actually, just have one one in the medical post to take care of that one person. Um, yeah, we'll have max workers at the sawmill. So that should get us... We have down to 27 unemployed people. But hopefully they're going to be helping build these buildings here. All right, and we need to build a cookhouse. What do we need for a cookhouse? Let's see, food. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Do we have, did we just, oh, we need more research. Okay, we got our foragers quarters. Looks like we need to build that. Um, I think we're gonna get the docks next. Okay, and then we'll wait until we have more stuff. Cause I think we definitely need a cookhouse. 20 wood for that. So we can start turning some of this raw food into food rations. And then the forger's quarters cost 35 wood. So it's going to be a bit tight on wood for a while here. But hopefully it will be okay. Do we have patients? No patients. Why don't we have a patient here? Hello? Oh, maybe because they didn't get in. No! <laughs> it's on free time. I thought they had to work 24-7. Oh, well, no patience. Either that or the person just haven't hobbled in there yet. Oh, poor thing. Suffering a bit. Okay. So, we have... Do we have... Oh, this is still under construction. Oh, that's right. It doesn't show the progress bars when you're zoomed in close like that. Okay. So, we're in for a time. All right. Shelter promise fulfilled. Everyone needs a roof, if only a flapping one over their head. Your people look forward to a well-deserved rest. Motivation rises. Yay. Hey, that's great. Okay, and only one scary red thing now. That's excellent. I think we should look into the laws and see, can we build some kind of entertainment for these people? So we have a public house. That could be fun. Um, Hardworking people need to unwind after work in good company with a stiff drink in hand. Okay, after... Introducing this law, we have a time limit before we can pass another one, which is 18 hours, which is like uh, less than a day. Okay, Pe people, patrons of the public house are less discontented and motivation will rise slightly. That sounds nice. We have hearty meals or gruel. I don't want to do anything with this right now. Um, let's see. Could serve tastier and more nutritious food. It would require more raw food. Okay. They increase motivation every day. That sounds actually really good. Or the opposite is gruel. Uh, motivation will fall slightly. Discontent will rise slightly. And eating gruel will cause discontent. That sounds awful. Uh, let's not go with that until we have a food source. And so we know how much food we're getting in. Bathhouse. Uh, they'll protect people from sickness by promoting cleanliness and health healthy habits. Um, let's see. Less likely to fall ill if we have a bath house. Motivation will rise slightly. That sounds pretty good. Uh, do we have other things? Let's see. No, no, no. Come back. Come back. Get back here. Get back here. I wanted to just close that small thing so that we could kind of move around here. So we have the chapel raising their motivation. Uh, so this is one that needs to go in the middle of a group of houses. I like the sickness thing, though. The bathhouse sounds really good. Uh, and the public house. Hmm. 
Let's go with a bathhouse, because that we know has to be near a building. All right, yay, we can build that bathhouse. So maybe just the law causes the motivation to rise. Aw, you know, I had no idea how much I missed a bath. A bathhouse, just what we need after a day of hard work. Yes, indeed, I agree. I completely agree. All right, let's fast forward until the daytime. This is such a beautiful scenery, I have to say. It's quite nice. <laughs> it's really nice. All right, daytime. Let's go. Okay, we have issues now. Yes. Reality check. As the camp wakes up under the dark rain clouds, the mood among our people turns gloomy. Nobody told us we'd be sent to the end of nowhere, they grumble. There is nothing for us to do here but work. And they're going to stay a while in this remote, cold, miserable place. If you don't keep their motivation up, efficiency will suffer. Motivation will fall each morning. Wow. Uh... I think we're gonna have to get those meals. Oh, we have quarters. Comfortable quarters. Uh, ooh. Discontent will fall permanently. Motivation will rise slightly. Housing buildings will accommodate only eight people. Okay, we could we could do that maybe. And then crowded quarters and then things will fall. Ugh. The hearty meal sounds like such a good thing because it's renewable, you know? Like people will keep on eating food and this whole scheme is looking more ridiculous each day. No! No one told us what the job really is. Well, you know what, dude? Count yourself lucky, because we've seen what happens in the real world, man. All right, so time to get the wood harvesting done. Let's go. We have a person in the sick house here. All right, it's Bertram Sanders. He's an engineer. Okay, I'm hoping that's good that he's going to recover soon. Just do Adding more doctors, does that help him? Oh, yes, it does. Wow, if you have five doctors <laughs> walking around the guy, it's, he's like, no, I don't want so many doctors around me. Help. So, yeah, he's going to get out of there sooner. <laughs> okay, so let's see. We want to build a bathhouse. We need to build the cookhouse. That's super important because people need food. This is not a cookhouse. No, that's definitely not a cookhouse. Where can I build this? There's just, like, not a lot of room. Maybe here. Okay, let's do there. I feel like I'm crowding that other side, and it's a good place for a residential district. Um, let's go on this side with road. Okay, there we go. Okay, good. We have stuff going on. Excellent. We definitely need people to work. Are they not eating this raw food? I thought they would eat raw food. And we also need the foragers camp too. Okay, 37 wood. That sounds great for a foragers quarters. Let's put that near here. Okay, so let's have workers working here. And they'll start converting this food into food. Doc's research, hooray. Okay, let's get the foragers going on as well. Okay, needed to create, we need 15 workers to create a party of foragers. Wow. Do we have 15 workers? Let's see. All right, let's go send them off, I guess. Whoa, there's very little snow, just some on this side. Okay, I guess we send them here to the reindeer tracks. Okay, send foragers here to learn more about this place. Numerous reindeer tracks lead toward a dark point on the horizon. Okay, 12 hours to arrive. Let's go send them off there. Why not? Back to the city. Uh, I guess we're going to have to employ engineers here. Why not? Okay, so here we are. Foragers quarters. They have a unit number one. They have no cargo at the moment. They're going to do their thing though. Okay, let's pause the game for a moment and see what else we can build. I feel like every second is important somehow. There's a sense of urgency that I can't really explain. Uh, okay, bathhouse. Look at oh my god, it's huge. <gasps> no, it's too big. No. Oh. Can I? No, it doesn't matter if I flip it. <laughs> it's still the same size. I I think I need to remove this house. Let's remove this one. Let's delete this one. Okay, how do we delete you? There we go. Dismantle building. Um, waiting for workers. Oh. 
Okay, there's 14 people who are hungry. Why are they hungry now? Like, weren't they hungry before? I don't understand this. Okay, let's add new research here. Uh, okay, so we can get faster gathering. We have faster uh, reloading. We have forages, forages, uh, profile manufacture. This costs 10. Let's start this up. And I think we need to build docks as well, uh, since we have those researched. I don't know how much uh, wood they're going to cost. They're probably kind of expensive, I imagine. Food, health, people. No, no, no. Docks. There we go. 25 wood. That's not bad. Okay, so we have, looks like we have three, three areas, maybe? We can get these, guys. Let's build one here. Seems reasonable. Yes. Shove over. Yay. Okay, so this tent is almost destroyed here. So. Dismantling in progress. Zero percent. This is so weird. Once I started making food, every all of a sudden people are starving. They're dying. It's like, really? Come on. Okay, now I want to put down the bathhouse. Let's put this one down here so it covers all the houses. Yay. And then we'll put down another tent uh, somewhere. People, tent. Let's put it down like here. Is that, is that going to be covered? Might be. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Or we could put it here. Or there. Let's put it. Let's see. This takes up one, two, three. Maybe. I hope. It's hard to tell because of the grid. This one is. I don't know how much this one is. No. All right. We'll put it here. Um, even though I hate to have a gap like that, but it's okay. We'll, 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 we'll work it out somehow, magically. It will magically be worked out. Let's just do, uh, we can't do a tiny road. No, somebody's going to be outside. Darn it. Okay. All right. So we have the ability to make a law. Is that right? Let's go to our bathhouse. Um, we might do a public house. Patrons are less discontented. Let's go ahead and sign this one. Just get that going. Okay, what does it say? There can only be one public house in the city. Does it matter where it is? I guess we'll have to see once we put it down if it has a, an area, a radius that needs to be considered or not. Okay. This is so weird to me that there are people starving now. Okay, bathhouse has been built. Hooray. Does this need employees? The curative and preventative effects of bathing were known for millennia, long before the germ theory of disease postulated the link between hygiene and health. To provide our people with access to hot baths in this harsh climate, we need plenty of coal, but the effects are undeniable. Okay. Almost all of our people have access to a bathhouse. Uh, while the bathhouse is active, people living within the range are less likely to get sick. Okay. All right. That sounds great. Wait, turned off, it says? We want it turned on. Oh, we have no coal. Well then, uh, we probably need coal. Whoops, I guess that was our first mis mistake of the playthrough. <laughs> Somehow we have no coal. I seem to have forgotten that part. Do we have coal around here? Is that a coal mine, maybe, over here? We need to figure this out. We need to probably learn how to gather coal. Okay, how is, are the docks coming? Okay, no resource selected. Okay, basic docks will produce a coal pile, wood pile, or steel pile. It's interesting that they say pile. Um, because that implies maybe gathering. So let's get a coal pile, but we have no workers at all. Um, these are workers. I guess we need to shift some workers from a dual building. These are engineers over here. Uh, let's take these workers off. And we'll have some dock workers here. Uh, how are we doing on these piles? 
I'm going to leave these until we finish gathering that steel. Um, this has got 26 left. We're going to get a lot of workers back when we finish those big piles. I'll let those finish and then I'll assign more people. Okay, let's go fast real quick. Foragers have reached the reindeer tracks. Okay. A partially eaten reindeer carcass lies in the circle of trampled bloodstained earth. The tracks lead further. Partially eaten. Interesting. Uh, we can search the area. Okay. And move on. So we have hunting grounds or we have a nesting place. So we have dozens of birds circle over a solitary rock outcrop overhead. Uh, or we can go to hunting grounds. Reindeer tracks lead toward a wide stream glinting in the sun. I'm kind of curious to look at those birds and then go to the hunting grounds. Nah, we need food. We need, we need food. Go, go there. All right. And on that note, I think that we will finish our playthrough for today. I hope you're as excited about this, uh, about this new scenario as I am. I'm really excited about it. Anyway, um, if you would like to help support me, please feel free to click on the link below and uh, and buy it on Humble Bundle. Both the base game and the season pass and the DLC are available there um, for your, your perusal pleasure. So anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.